They are the diplomats who implement foreign policy, commissioners who regulate trade and the economy, administrators responsible for airport security and space exploration, officials who will respond to the next natural disaster and the person charged with running the next U.S. census. However, an unprecedented number of some of the most crucial jobs in government have yet to be filled by a presidential appointee. As a result, former federal officials warn, a historic gap has developed in governmental processes and preparedness, even as a partisan war rages over whom to blame. Government watchdogs say the Trump administration missed an early window to send a critical mass of executive nominations to the Senate, which is responsible for reviewing and confirming 1,242 such nominations. Republican and Democrats to Trump take a moral stand on undocumented immigrants. Read more The administration has responded sharply, accusing Democrats in the Senate of slow-walking nominations out of a desire to foil the president. What's the real story? While the current Republican-led Senate has been slower than average in confirming Trump attendees, the president has been even slower to send nominations to Congress, said Max Steyer, president of the nonpartisan Partnership for Public Service. The Trump administration is way behind prior precedent and certainly behind what we need in order to effectively be able to run the government, Steyer told the Guardian. You can't play the game effectively if you don't have your team on the field, Trump had made only 61% of the nominations, 226, that Barack Obama had made, 373, by the 19th of July of the first year of their respective administrations, according to figures compiled by Steyer's group. Trump still lags behind other recent presidents, although he rates slightly better when compared with George W. Bush Trump made 67% of his nominations, Bill Clinton, 81%, and George H.W. Bush, 87%. Fewer nominations It is important to get nominations in early, explained Steyer, because it becomes more difficult for the Senate to prioritize confirmations as the term progresses and other matters take over, such as multiple runs at health care reform or raising the debt ceiling.